Okay, this is not quite what you think. Yes, it's another laser cutter, a bit like the Grove Forge, but different. You hear me talking about DC or glass tube CO2 lasers versus dial lasers all the time. And you probably know I'm not a fan of dial lasers, but this is a third option, an RF laser, and that's a pretty big difference and why I wanted to show you this machine. It's called the Guayca Cloud RF. And before you all recoil in horror, no, of course, it's not cloud only. I don't reveal anything like that. It has its own pretty easy to use application like the laser box from Mayblog and the Growforge, but you don't have to use it. Unlike those two machines, it's light burn compatible, which is a game changer because as I've discussed in the past, Light Burn is incredibly powerful software that lets you do things with your laser cutter that often just aren't possible with the manufacturer's software and do it more quickly and easily. From the perspective of build quality, size, weight, and setup, it's basically the same as the Grow Forge and the Laser Box, all very high quality. But having an RF laser and being Light Burn compatible is what sets the Guayca Cloud RF apart and makes it an option worth considering for a benchtop laser. Now, as usual, in my opinion, the best way to reveal a laser is to use the laser as I normally would, run a few small typical day-to-day -day projects of it while I talk about what I like and what I dislike about it. Let's go! So I've got this really nice bamboo wood. It took me a while to find it in China because in China, they, all the laser companies seem to just use imported material. The, those imported woods like Walnut woods are super expensive uh, and bamboo is cheap and they are um, manufactured in China. I just don't know why they don't use it. It took me a while to get it. I can't even get it on, the, on, on Taobao. Hmm. But I got a bunch of this. It's very cheap and now I'm going to use it to cut my rain sizer. Okay, once you put that in, let's go to move. And the distance is being set to 14. Let's lower our laser and then move to the position we want to cut. Let's frame it. Okay, now let's hear start. All right, let's take it out. Okay. Hey, pretty good. So in China, you know, um, when you have a girlfriend, you celebrate like monthly anniversary and usually you exchange rings as, uh, as a gift. It's very common, even in Thailand it's the same. But I never know my ring size or my girlfriend's ring size. So uh, we used to use the, uh, the other tools to measure it and um, I saw this ring size sizer uh, uh, thing they're selling that I was like, hey, I can cut that also by using my laser cutter. That's why I did this. So next I'm going to put this uh, acrylic, red acrylic inside and make a pair of earrings. Right next, I'm going to engrave a pair of earrings. Um, this 
is I already uh, select different color to change the speed and power so for the tiger it's going to be the speed is 30 the max power is 90% minimum power is 70% so on Waika's website um, they have uh, the spreadsheet for the speed and power even if they don't have it there they are uh, they have uh, online employees to answer a question they can send it to you immediately that's how I get the settings I, I, I just got it uh, from them and then use their settings so it saved me a lot of time to fiddle around but because I've been using laser cutter for so long I can guess like approximately how much power that needed for uh, different materials the earring hook in use the tire to snap it in place and uh, when you make it at home it only co costs a couple of cents maybe because this earring accessories is super cheap you can buy it online it's um, only takes a couple of dollars they give you a whole bag of it like one dollar they give you like a bunch of this um, earring accessories and then if you have laser cutters at home you have your um, you have the pictures you have the file you want to engrave or laser cut right you can even use bamboo material for for the earrings uh, or different kind of wood I've seen people do that but I prefer acrylic I think it has a very nice aesthetic front and back Okay, next. All right, let's set the engraving and cutting stuff aside and let me show you how the rotary thing works in the Guayca Cloud Laser Cutter. So first I'm going to take out the tray, the tray for, and probably it's a good time to uh, clean it up a bit. And then I will take out this tray also. Alright, I've got this bamboo cylinder shape here. I'm going to try to engrave my logo on it. So I'm just going to place it here. Close the lid, go back to Lightburn. I'm connected to my laser. And I update the overlay of the camera lens. And as you can see, the bamboo wood is here and that's my logo. And here's my setting. The speed is 200, max power and minimum power is 30. And uh, fill all shapes at once. Only one, pa one, one pass, okay? Click OK. And then I'm going to send this. And then I'm going to send this to the machine.
All right, let's take a look. That's not bad at all. But of course, you can uh, engrave other materials also, not just bamboo. It's just I happen to have a lot of bamboo around the house. You can engrave on plastic or glass, and that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use glass, and I'm going to show you something really cool. All right, I've got this glass bottle here. I'm going to try to engrave my logo on glass material this time. All right, let's take a look. Pretty cool. Okay, so once I've engraved the bottle, let me show you what I do next. Now, if you're going to do this, it's very important to use the thickest bottle you can find and sand the edges carefully. In Thailand, they sterilize and reuse bottles, so they are made of very thick glass and won't break from casual handling. This is a Chang soda water bottle and what I prefer to use. So this is the corn with the Chinese in it. I want to cut and engrave. And so one passes, two passes, two passes. So for the circle will be two passes and the character. character will be filmed. We'll film it and let's change the speed. And the power. Number of passes three times. Now I just need to click the character change it to one. Okay, let's place our material in the laser cutter. These little wooden corns are from a game I invented to help people learn Chinese characters. It's called Fib's Purse. There is a little story that goes along with it on the download page, which I will put in the description. But basically, imagine we're trying to remove only the highly swallowed corns from a purse without looking in the purse. So we need to learn to recognize the corns by feel. In order to do that, you need to build a sort of 3D mental model, and we use that to teach people to recognize basic Chinese characters. 
So here are two coins with the character for person engraved on one and small on the other. I put them in the back and I need to be able to call the one I'm removing by touch only. You can play the game in different ways, but the idea is to keep adding coins to the bat until you can distinguish a whole set by touch. And if you can tell them apart by touch, doing it by looking at them is super easy. Xiao, small. Okay, we move small, add this in. Ren. As I said, full instruction on download page, but it's a fun little game. You don't need to know any Chinese to play it, and it comes in 3D printable and laser cut versions. Okay, Guayker IF, pros and cons. Cons, it's not as high voltage and does not have as large a cutting area as some Chinese lasers you can get for the same price. It is much better quality than most of those though. The value is quite good. Library support is great, but the integration is not quite perfect. The feature in Library that would let you use the camera over the network isn't finished yet, but that's on Library, not Guayka. There's also the occasional difficulty connecting to the laser, and you have to quick out of Library and go back in, but it's pretty unusual. Easily dealt with, and I'd anticipated being addressed in an update. It has a cloud-based app, and we all know I'm not a fan of these, but it's easier to use than Lightburn and gets you up and running quickly, and it's entirely optional. You do not have to connect the Quiker IF to their cloud app. I'll be showing you how their cloud app works in my next video. They're just worth some time today. Pros! The Girlforge and the Mayport laser box are very similar lasers. Fantastic, easy to use products with their own proprietary applications. The problem with that is there is no room for growth. As your skills improve, you quickly find yourself bumping up against the limitations of their software. The projects you saw me do today are a bit more crafty than you normally see me work on. That's because laser cutters are an ideal small business tool and that's one of their most common applications. AC store, sign making, custom crafts, and woodworking. Unlike 3D printers, it is very easy to earn back the cost of your laser cutter. The problem is the Growforge and Laserbox proprietary applications are fine for hobbyist use and crafting, but not ideal if you are using your laser for business or working on a bunch of orders. The Guayka gets you started easily with their cloud app and then lets you transition to professional software and grows with your business. This is a significant advantage and the primary reason to buy this laser cutter over those other ones. This particular model used an RF laser instead of direct current. RF tubes last much, much longer than direct current lasers. They can turn on and off faster, which usually means faster cutting and they usually don't require water cooling, which cuts down on a mess and complication of owning a laser cutter by quite a bit. RF lasers tend to produce an overall higher beam quality, although of course they are more expensive. The included rotary engraving attachment is quite good, better than the laser box rotary engraving attachment. And while there is still a bit of a learning curve, as you can see, it does produce excellent results. Final verdict. The Guayka IF is a great first laser engraver that lets you go into it and use more advanced software and functions later. The RF laser is less hassle and produces better results with less frequent replacement than these sieves lasers. But if you already have substantial experience with laser engravers and know how to use light burn, don't need the convenience and its use, you may be better off with a larger commercial Chinese laser. That's it for today. I left this video kind of long. I don't know about all of you, but I like to relax for lunch or dinner and a new YouTube video and this frantic rush TikTok style videos just aren't very relaxing or very informative, I find. 
What do you think? Should I add it a little tighter next time or do you like the length? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.